Uh, let's first of all hear from uh, Pinky, the truck driver in Regency Downs in Queensland. Hey, Pinky, welcome along. Hey, how you going, Neil? Very well. What are your thoughts? Um, Neil, um, just went to Townsville uh, for my son's football match there uh, last uh, couple of weeks and um, met up with another elder from Rockhampton uh, in the park. They were doing uh, traditional dance and, and because my son does that as well, we were sort of sitting there talking to him. And as we were leaving, our mate says, vote no, vote no. So that's the Aboriginals um, uh, actually voting no uh, uh, about this uh, yes, vote. Okay. And that, you, yep, so they, you, they, yeah, sorry, Neil. But you're raising you know, a very good point. Northern, yeah. When I was up in Northern Territory, those other two elders up there said the, said the same thing. Now, this is a very important point and good to get perspectives from both of our guests on this one because uh, not everyone in Australia's Aboriginal Torres Strait Islander communities uh, actually wants yes. Many are saying no. Let me come to Peter Barnes first. Uh, Peter, your thoughts here? <laughs> yes, well, I run around the those communities with a clipboard and a microphone, so I, I'm not sure that I could guess how many are voting no. I suspect there's, there's reports even today, something like 45% knew nothing about the whole thing. Um, so they don't know about it and they're quite indifferent to it. So I, I suspect there's quite a, a measure of indifference to this. Uh, but yes, there's uh, a lot of the circles that I do know about, um, Aboriginal Christians voting no. Um, Gordon Priest, uh, when you've got the likes of uh, Jacinta Nampajimpa Price and uh, she's married to a white husband, um, some other guests, uh, Norman and Barbara Miller, who've been on this program. Uh, Norman is an Indigenous man, uh, Barbara is white. Um, they'll feel that somehow or other uh, two sets of sovereignty, if you describe it a little bit like that, uh, can even divide households. Uh, thoughts here around... Uh, Aboriginal people and uh, the fact that they don't all uh, support the idea of a yes? Oh, well, you know, the the idea of all, you know, um, particularly when you have, um, what is it, 300, 300 na Aboriginal nations, um, but but you, you apply that to, to white people or the, or the rest of multicultural Australia, and you know you, you talk about all that's just not um, that's not possible nor normal in any kind of democratic uh, debate. Uh, the ev the evidence is in terms of the polling that about eighty percent of Aboriginals are in favour. Um, so it doesn't mean they're um, you know they you know that's not a hundred percent, but that's that's about as good as it gets in any kind of democratic kind of situation that we ever have. And so, in um, if if you're thinking in any way about majority um, decision making, that's a very very good number. Now um, we'll see what comes out in the end. Um, you know, polls aren't infallible. I recognise that. Um, we'll we'll see what what does come out. But I think we need to need to recognise that the, the the debate goes on between say the, the the Central Australian Land Council, for instance, have, have strongly disagreed with Jacinta Price. Now, I, I recognise Jacinta Price and, and Warren Mundine as fellow fellow Christians, um, but I, I I disagree. I don't disagree with the... They talk about reconciliation. Jacinta talks about that. She talks about having sort of seen it and worked out within her own family. I think that's a very positive Christian perspective, and I think we would all want to want to look towards reconciliation and and recognise it as a fundamentally Christian word, and um, and see where it's come from, and 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 also try and operate um, from a a perspective of all the promises of God have their yes and amen in Jesus. And, and and that's a fundamental yes in the first place, but that doesn't mean something like voting is trivial. It is important, and and we need to work on on that, and we need to work on issues like recon reconciliation, and um and and also this this might be um it might be you know throwing a grenade into the area, but it's it's always been that the treaty was part of the process as well. That's that's listed, and it's. Um, it's down there um, in a country like like New Zealand, 
um, had a very different history to us because of a treaty that um, that a, a, a Australian missionary, um, well, um, English Australian missionary, um, Samuel Marsden, was involved in that process, going back to the middle of, of the 19th century. So um, there, there's a whole range of aspects to this which have been talked about over the over the past 10 years. Um, Okay, let's uh, thank Pinky for a good contribution today. Thank you, Pinky, for taking part.